Um, family, listen, when it comes to Connecticut and New York, <clears throat> those are usually the two states where individuals are normally saying, hey, listen, they have the best pizza. And New Haven, Connecticut, specifically, has what is known as the top-ranked pizza in my state. Um, we have a lot of pizza restaurants, though. We have a lot of pizzerias, however you like to call it. There is a pizzeria called Best Pizza with the worst ratings. Now, the last worst rated pizza restaurant was a revisit, and it was a revisit to Nick's Pizza, which was able to do a nice little turnaround. However, let's just read some of these reviews. If I could give zero stars, I would. Have ordered from them for years and put up with them changing prices on the fly. One price on the menu and then a totally different price when it's time to pay. This time I called for two avocado salads and a garlic bread. So, Two times eleven seventy five and four ninety nine with cheese total twenty eight forty nine plus tax. I asked them to have change for a fifty dollar bill, which is all I had. The guy told me no problem. That would be forty two dollars. When I questioned the price and referenced the online menu, I was told you don't like the price, don't order. I was like, wait, really? He says bye bye. It hangs up on me. I will never ever 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 order or eat at this place again. The food isn't even that good. It's decent at best. They should call last resort instead of best. But when you're hungry and it's close, it makes sense. Not anymore. I'm a nearby business owner and I would never treat a customer that way, especially a returning customer. Your rudeness and deceptive business practices lost you a customer today. Your place sucks and I hope you go out of business soon. Damn. <clears throat> there it is, fighting, <laughs> fighting words, family. That's when somebody is really trying to go after your throat piece. Bad customer service will leave a bad taste in anyone's mouth. We know that one already, but let's read the next one star review. Jeez. Ordered food from them was overcharged when delivered. How do you go from order two large special pizzas, one gluten free pizza and a two liter soda over the phone charge my card for $56. When food arrived on receipt showed $65. Is this how you run your business, ripping? I guess it means ripping people off. So two instances where business is shady, where if you make an online order, or I guess an over the phone order, upscale on a charge. Mm. I don't know fam, I don't know. Another one star, very poor in-person service. He refused to give me food when I asked the price. He even cursed at me. Never go in person. Psycho people work there. Oh, I can't wait. I'm definitely going in person. All right, y'all. So basically, whoever works there wants all the smoke. They don't even care. All right, don't care about customer service. They don't care about how they charge you. It is what it is. Let's read one more and slide over to the best pizza, according to them. Another one star. They gave us the wrong pizza, which my husband had a good or meant to say food allergy to. And we called and he said he would get us next time. Then he just offered us a free soda. $1 versus $20. Awful. And the delivery guy had no change for a tip. So a lot of delivery issues, uh, over the phone, online issues. Again, I haven't heard too much about the food. That's what I want to go check for myself. And then I really want to see what this customer service is heading on. So sit back, relax, and comfortable. We're about to slide over to a pizzeria called Best Pizza in Newington, Connecticut. Cue the music. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know All right, fam, you know the vibes. Over here at Best Pizza, 82 Payne Road, Newington, Connecticut. We read the reviews. Not too many of them are actually talking about the food, so we definitely gonna talk about the food, no doubt. But we definitely heard about the service, so... Let's see what that's saying on when we slide on the inside. And is it truly the worst rated pizza restaurant in my state? We're about to find out. It's a two on yo. She like me, she might be what I need. She get spicy, want taste test, come by me. Yeah, I'm icy, way too icy. I get paper, I'm big screen, I'm spiky. I'm vibey, just vibey. Too wavy, I can tell they wanna get like me. And we gotta do this drain right on the inside of off over here. Nice little painting on the walls. Seat pieces a little run down, cracked up. Could uh, use some new upholstery on the seat joints over here, but you know, look. 
semi clean for the most part. And uh, I'm gonna wait for my food to get her out here, baby. Fam, let's go ahead and get at this garlic bread. First up, they gave me some sauce. Looks chunky. Some diced up tomato game must be proper. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and uh, unravel and expose. There she is, there she blows, there she blows. Oh man. Here, let me give myself a piece. Mm. I said, let me give myself a piece. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and act like that if you want. I respect you, baby. I respect you. And what you gotta do, you gotta dip that thing, you gotta dip it in there. Uh, just for the extra flavor, fam. Just for the extra flavor. Uh, nothing too crazy. Let's get it. I don't even like the sauce that much. I like it solo dolo. Garlic butter. Right on time. Nice moistness to it. Great execution on the mozzarella cheese with it. Lovely crisp on the breading. Mm -hmm. Cheesy blue, blue thing. You did right by this garlic bread. You did right by the garlic bread. Trust that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, fam. We have a little bit of everything going on with this pizza, man. Please don't ever play yourself. Pizza's in full effect. Pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, the cheese game. All right, sausage. Everything that you need when it comes to a pie is right here. Mm. And on top of that, we had a gentleman that came in, a customer, a little earlier. He had recognized me. I have it on my Instagram live. And he said he messes with this spot daily for their cheese pizza. He does construction right up the street. So, you know me, man. I always like getting my bold fold on. If you grab pizza and you don't fold it, you just take it straight to the wig. I respect you. I respect you, gangster. But me, I love, a, I love a good fold, and I love when it holds itself together. Now, that, that's real important. Let me get this bite real quick, though, family. Oh, my goodness. What are y'all thinking, though? What are y'all thinking? Keep it a bean. Hit me in the comment section. Are you messing with it, or are you not messing with it? This bite right here should be a flavorful little boo thing. Multiple bites, everyone knows the rules. Mmm. Mmm. I'm anticipating the crust, but I love how my family keeps it so real with me. So, in the comment section, from what you've seen in this pizza so far, keep it real with me. What do y'all think? I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. Let me know what you think. I'm. Mm. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. And we finally arrived at the crust. Mm. This is why Connecticut got on a smith ass. Crust while crispy. I'm saying this is like a whole entire tender collection of meaty affection. The peppers lined up just right with the pepperoni. Pepperoni can stand to use just a little more love, but I like it as is, it's really working with our sausages. The onions grilled up, coming off with great flavor, strong execution once again on the cheese itself. You can't possibly go wrong. Like fam, like this joint, this joint hitting a little something. It's hitting a little something. They don't have that old easy bake oven sitting in the back on this one right here, this pizza right here. I understand what Brandon was talking earlier when he came in and he said, this is why they mess with them real heavy like. This is a pizza right here, the best pizza combo that you guys can definitely mess with. And I really think that you're gonna be digging it. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy to yo. What's going on people? We are back from best pizza. And I could say my personal experience wasn't bad. I had an in-person experience, customer service they could definitely work on. The food, my service, even the establishment itself. Like that's enough to get a four out the door. 
and you guys seen it for yourself. There's, there's no stunting here. And they definitely didn't know who I was. Trust and believe that. So I wish more people were talking about the food in the review. And I'm sure if they did, they probably would have got more than one or two stars. Maybe three. Even if it was a bad experience customer service wise, they probably still would have got a three for the food. So let me go ahead and get into my Yelp review. I hope you guys are ready for this one. So I can agree with customer service here. It's not the best. Upon entry, I was not even greeted with there not being a single customer inside but me. I pulled a menu from the counter and the gentleman sat there as I went through it to decide what I wanted to order. He did, however, repeat my order back to me and so I suppose customer service was not a total loss, but I digress. He mentioned that my food would be ready in roughly 25 minutes and so I waited. The restaurant needed some minor sprucing up, but it wasn't anything serious. I would definitely change out the seats before someone gets hurt. They look as if they are ready to fall over like a game of Jenga, but let's get into the food. My garlic bread with cheese was delightful. Cheesy and the garlic butter was the perfect flavor link that brought it all together. Just a nice blend beneath the mots. The bread was crunchy on the bite and soft within. I decided to go with the best pizza combo in a small. That total was roughly $24, and to me, it was worth it for I added two sodas to my meal. My pizza had the cheese dripping down on the pull. My slice was loaded with pepperoni, sausage, grilled onions, mushrooms, and cheese. This combination was very good and had a great mouth chew. The sausage popped and growled at me. I like that. Pep? Pep wasn't too salty. The grilled onions laid down the flavor game in a great way, and the green peppers brought it home full send. I could only say they need to work on their customer service here, but the pizza was definitely good. And there it is, fam. There, there you have it. An experience really worth talking about and giving them a fair review. I just wish more individuals would really do that on Yelp, giving out more fair reviews, man. And I got some plans for 2024. We'll discuss that a little bit later. But I, I see a lot of things that can be tweaked. And, uh, well, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I greatly appreciate you guys for watching, sharing my videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. And I'm going to try to come back tomorrow with another banger for you around 4.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, baby. Other than that, keep it crispy.